welcome back to the channel my name is inside a gamer and welcome back to another tutorial episode here this is episode two on the a320 airbus uh, we're here in dublin airport now if any of you have not seen the last uh, episode i do recommend you go back i'll put a little uh, a little link up here for you uh, where we cold started we looked at the ground service and atc and we taxi to the runway now in this one we're going to be looking at our takeoff autopilot features descending and ILS landing in Newcastle. That would be the plan, hopefully. Uh, so we are ready here now, runway 10 at the end of the last one. I didn't have us on the right runway, I have fixed it. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight into this flight deck here, and we're gonna have a look at a few things. Okay, so we're here on the flight deck. Uh, so everything is, we've got these uh, dots here everywhere. This needed to be up to 13,000. I think that's what they cleared us for, uh, if I remember rightly. So everything here, we just want to make sure your flight director's turned on, which we already have. All our lights need to be on, which they are, which is good. Runway light is now off. All this is good. And uh, just one last check. Speed brake is set, flaps is on, and our automatic brake, which is here, is set to max. And we actually are good for takeoff. We've been cleared now by ATC, so we're gonna get that out of the way now the flight director this little patch here we're gonna try and keep the plane in this the best we can uh, that is the plan and I am doing a uh, a man a man flex takeoff that's what we're gonna be doing we're not doing a toga toga would be just whack it up to full power we're not gonna be doing that we're doing a man flex flexing to 67 so release the parking brake and we are cleared to go now I want to show you a few things here I know you want to see the it as well so what we're looking for we're looking for a green diamond here that will give us our rotate or a purple diamond that will give us our rotate and we're going to follow this flight director the best we can. Now, I know you guys might not be able to see too well, uh, but I'll keep it like this so we get to see a little bit of the outside. So what we're going to do, we're going to spoil up the engines to around 40%. Once, uh, once they're kind of pressurizing, which they are nicely. Okay, now what we're looking for, we're going to increase the throttle until we see man flex here. So we've got level climb. Man flex 67. Okay, so we have our man flex. So we're now going to look for this pink dot and then follow the flight director at the same time. Okay, V1 and rotate. And we're going to rotate the aircraft, follow that flight director up. There's a little bit of a dip. It's all good. Okay, we have got a positive rate of climb. We're going to retract our wheels, which they're doing now. Need to go back in because I need to follow this flight director. So we're going to follow that. Now we can flick on the autopilot. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. That was my fault. Uh, too busy talking. I forgot to reduce the flaps. Okay, and we're just going to bring it down. Follow that flight director. Flaps have been retracted now, so we can have a little bit more speed. And I've now changed it to throttle climb, as you can see here. Throttle climb, I've reduced the throttle. Uh, so now it will be controlled by the aircraft. Now it's very simple. What we can now do here is AP1. If we click AP1, we can let go of all controls. You can see we've got throttle climb, climb, navigation, AP1. And the plane now will control its speed, its altitude, and it's heading and we'll follow this flight path here that wasn't the best takeoff because I was talking uh, <laughs> but you, you get the idea so all we really want up here now is that we just want to make sure that these dots are on like I said at the beginning we climb to 13,000 unless the computer has restrictions which I think it has to 5,000 okay yeah we can tune into Dublin request clearance instrument there we go Okay, we're clear to Newcastle Airport, filed as squawk, and we can acknowledge that now. Sometimes these people talk and sometimes they don't. Okay, so keep radar contact, following heading 100, own, presume own navigation, climb maintain 13,000 feet. So they have cleared us to 13,000, uh, so the plane will keep rising here now. And if we just talk about the autopilot stuff, so we have a speed, if we need to manage our speed, which we'll do closer to our landing, we can use this. A heading, so as you saw here, it says heading 100, resume own navigation. 
Okay, we just gotta acknowledge that. Okay, so we're not gonna really talk to them now. We're gonna deal with all the other places and we're gonna tune into the Shannon Center here quickly. Uh, I didn't really want to do it with the ATC, but people have asked for ATC, so we're gonna leave it on. Um, continue to lift it as planned, or to me at 2992, that's fine. Um, we don't need to do anything with that now for the minute. We're good for that. So autopilot one is the important thing. We have the heading of 13,000 feet. Now they'll probably give us clearance to go higher now very, very soon. And we're gonna change this with this one. Um, but all we wanna do is change it. If we click any of these now, they're gonna come off. So, so what are you really looking for are these three dots, very important. Now the other one that we're gonna need later is the approach and the LS. This is for our landing, which we're gonna talk about when we kind of get into the landing zone. Okay, so let's have a little look on the outside. We are climbing nicely out of Dublin. We can say farewell to Ireland, there it is. Climbing at a lovely rate here. And the plane is gonna pretty much do all the work now. So the plane will do all the work until 13,000 feet and it'll level off if we don't get cleared beforehand. We will keep an eye on it now. Uh, okay, so they, they haven't contacted us yet. We better leave that up just in case. And there we go, that is the basics of the takeoff. There isn't much to it, if I'm all honest with you. Now if we go back to our FMC, now we have plenty of time to change things. Now we have gone over 9,000, we can now change this. The barometer needs to be changed to uh, standard pressure. But you just need to get the little thing up the back. Not easy to click. There we go. And it is now going to change To our standard pressures and we need to do it, oh, it does it on both sides so happy day so this is going to follow we're now above 10,000 feet uh, which also now means all our light landing lights need to come off um, but we can keep all the strobes and navigation lights on as well they're fine so there we go guys that is the basic principles to take off it's probably a little bit scrambled it's not very easy to actually explain it while doing it um, but anyways uh, we're here now okay Everything is looking good, they've not contacted us again. So, what we need to look at is on this. So, you're gonna see all these kind of arrows. We're gonna change this to plan. Sorry, not plan. Keep, keep it on arc, uh, but we're gonna reduce it out. We wanna have a look at this. Because we're gonna wanna look at our top of descents and stuff like that. That's what we're going to be having a look at in a minute. Uh, still can't see it on that range. Okay, so here will probably be our top of descent. I will show you that as we get a bit closer to that. So the plane is leveling off at 13,000 feet. Uh, we are going to wait to see if uh, they contact us. We could request it if we wish, but I don't think we need to. Uh, everything else is okay. We can now undo our level here. For our spoilers, our speed brakes. Like the plane is taking control of everything. So. When you take off, if you're doing a flex takeoff, once you've taken off the flex, as soon as you hit the green dot, retract your flaps, which I, I didn't do quite in time, so obviously it, it, it beat the us, but it's okay. Uh, and then all you need to do is change it down from that to thrust climb. As you can see here on the shifter itself, you can see it actually has all the markings. So you got flex temperature, and now you got the climb. That's what we want. And if you want a toga, it'd be full power. And that's about it for this. Uh, we're in the air. We are hopefully going to rise very soon. So we're gonna just cruise at a normal altitude. If I get anything before then, I will uh, I will talk to you guys. And if not, I will see you in a minute. Okay, we're back in the flight deck here. We've now just been asked to descend. Now, I've actually found a lot of problems with this aeroplane, um, <laughs> believe it or not, with the autopilot features. So we're gonna see how we go. So they want us to reduce down to 11,000 feet. So we're just gonna do that, there we go. And we're going to pick engage. And you can see now the navigation button has now appeared and the plane is now descending, which is good. Uh, normally, you'd have on your flight path, you'd have your top of descent, and if you're not using ATC, 
you just reduce your uh, top of descent down to whatever you need it to be for your ILS if you're looking at charts and doing it properly. Uh, so anyway, so we're, we're, we're doing what they want us to do. They want us to go down to 11,000 feet. We're going to do that. I'm still controlling the speed. Uh, now we're descending. Let's take some of that speed out. Uh, I think 175 is okay while we're descending because uh, we are going to keep speed up anyways. Okay, so we are coming into Newcastle. We're coming up to the point of Eco. Uh, and then basically going to do a quick loop round and straight in ILS into Newcastle. Now, let's talk about some of the bugs that I've found, okay? So even with your flight planning stuff, it was keeping the plane ultra slow. So what I did, I took over the a bloody menu bar. I took it over the speed manually. And all, and all you have to do to do that is just indicate where speed you want and you press it in. You see here it says engage, so that you've got your two arrows, one to spin it, and then to engage it. So I engaged it, and the same with the altitude, engage, or the spinning down to whatever you need it to be. It will control the airspeed like this, and this is fine too. Um, but basically, it's trying to keep me at 160. We are cruising at low altitude, which doesn't help. Um, so the flight planner just kind of calculates all that stuff. Um, and I also noted that the plane doesn't follow the flight plan directly. So do not start to panic if the plane starts veering off from the green line. I'm just going to... Now we're getting close. We can now bring that back in. Um, it does veer off. It, it will come back. Um, I panicked a little bit and took over controls at one point. Um, didn't really need to. But there we go. So let's increase our airspeed again. Back up to 200. Not descending as fast as I thought we would. But now all we're going to do, since we are using ATC, is keep an eye on them when they ask us to descend again. So at 14,000 feet. And like I said, it was playing funny games with me. Um, <laughs> looks okay at the moment. Okay, so we're all good to go. So that's what we're going to do now, is going to keep descending. Once we hit below 10,000 feet, we can throw on all our landing lights. It's going to be a nice evening landing into Newcastle. Uh, I forgot I had it on real time, and it's obviously early evening now. I'm recording this, um, but it's going to be beautiful. I've not done a night landing, but look at the lights and the colors. Look, it's lovely. Look at that sky. It's amazing. Visually, this game cannot be beaten, I don't think, but these jets need some work. The small aircraft and the VFR flying is amazing. I enjoyed the live streams. Um, yeah, these jets need some work. I don't know what the Boeing's like. I'll have to test the Boeing. Uh, but currently, so far, with this A320, I'm a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest with you. Okay, let's go back into our flight deck. Keep an eye on everything. As you can see, it keeps pitching itself up and down. It's not too sure what it wants to do. This ILS could could be a disaster. Hopefully, it lines us up a little bit to it. So, look, I will do uh, a better tutorial if things start changing. Of course, they're going to start patching out the game a little bit. Um, and when those kind of changes come in, I will redo these tutorials. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit rusty. It's not great. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, the plane does not behave very well. <laughs> so. The only one that's kind of doing okay is the heading. The heading indicator definitely seems to be holding on. Uh, like I said, we are going to see now with the ILS. I have seen some other videos where the ILS is a little bit iffy, so it'll be interesting to see. And right on cue, uh, Manchester Airbus A320. Now, normally they talk to you, but I'm finding this a little bit buggy too. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so normally you'd hear them talk to you so you know when they're calling so you don't need to leave it out but for some reason today it is not working. Okay, Airbus 320, descend and maintain 5000. Yes. So again, we're going to go up here to the altitude indicator, uh, which is this one, and we're just going to reduce that down to it says 5000 and then we're going to make sure we get the engage and we click it. And we should see the plane drop again. There we go. It took a bit of time, thought about it, but we are now descending again. And 
Like I said, if you didn't play a violess, uh, once you see the you see this little arrow, that would be a top of descent. You would just put it down to exactly what you'd want it for the ILS. Usually anywhere between 2,500 and kind of 5,000. And uh, you'd have to look at your charts. And that would bring you in perfectly for the localizers. Like I said, I don't know how well they work. This is my first time actually myself using the A320. And it's been a bit of a disaster, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so much stuff isn't working on it, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, obviously... You know, they've worked hard in the game. It seems seems a bit poor quality, really. Um, but we'll make do. Like I said, I'm sure they're going to make changes. I'm sure this is not the finished article for this plane. Let's have a look on the outside. Let's see. I don't know what towns. What towns are we coming up by now? Where are we? Uh, okay, so we're coming up into Newcastle now, I suppose, pretty soon. So all we're going to do, we're going to go up past it, then we're going to probably take a sharp right, a loop round, or it might take us in this way, I'm not sure. A nice little flight. Look, it is comfortable, but you need to keep an eye on stuff because things are just a little bit, bit scary, uh, but it's fine. It is fine. It is manageable. If you follow these tutorials, you should be able to get yourself flying these jet stairs for sure. Now, of course, we have gone below the 10,000 feet. Uh, so the other thing that we needed to look at that I haven't actually done yet is our landing lights. All our landing lights can now go on. Don't need the runway turn off one yet because uh, we're not taxiing. Everything else is on. Uh, we can't change the smoking or the seat belts, which is a bit of a shame, but look, they're all on. And to turn on the dome light is here. You can see dome. If you want to turn on the light in the cabin, like we have. That's dim. So it can be really bright, but I, I think this is bright enough. And when you land, generally actually all lights have to be off in the cockpit. Um, but we're not going to do that, so we have it, we can be able to actually see the controls. So I'm going to keep an eye on these flight directors. We'll keep an eye out the window here. Okay, so they've asked us to go off to Newcastle now. We can tune into them now and get ready uh, for landing. Approach continues, ETS as planned, ultimate, uh, okay. And Newcastle is just over here somewhere, not too far now, straight ahead. Airbus, you are 21 miles south. Keep speed below 185 knots. Yes, because of where we are. Now we're so low, that is fine. And we do need to change the, the pressure back as well. QFE. Now the other thing that we need to do is we do need to go down to our flight plan here. Oh. Okay, we just acknowledged the assignment approach. That's fine. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do then is go into uh, the program, uh, performance. Uh, we need to go over to a phase of approach. Now you put in the QNH, which is up there, temperature. We, we don't need to worry about winds and stuff. I don't have winds on. You don't need to worry about this stuff either. Um, this kind of gives you your go around kind of speeds. You're going to be on a full config uh, for your landing, so full flaps. Uh, they expect us to Land about one four five. Okay, so then all we gotta do is activate approach and we're gonna confirm. So that is now gonna set up our ILS. To so keep your speed pros, 185 knots suspect ILS runway 25 approach via NT transition clear to NT Airbus A320. Okay, uh, which is NT here. So this is the approach phase which would have been on your charts.
And again, it's just a bit of a sit-in and waiting game. Uh, so once I get a little bit closer, I'll bring you back to the flight deck. <laughs> 